Hi everyone, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures and today I have a what's sold video and a Goodwill shopping haul. I went ahead and combined the two because I don't sell a whole lot each week and I thought maybe you'd like to see what I did sell plus the haul. So let me know if you like this kind of format with a thumbs up and then I will continue doing it this way. Okay, first thing I sold was this uh, wooden accordion rack. I always try to pick these up when I see them. They're usually in the wood section of the Goodwill. Uh, I, paid, I can't remember what I paid for it, probably just a couple of dollars. But it sold for $16.09. And I was having another 30% off sale in my store. I usually run those and just keep them running. So... If you want to take a look, there's a lot of good bargains there. Uh, this monkey rack I sold for $20.99. And it's the monkey see, monkey do. Here. <laughs> Boy, I did that wrong. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And their little tails are hooks. And it's cast iron. And really cute. So those two guys are going to a new home. That's all I sold this week. I'm not going to lie, I don't sell a whole lot each week. There are some weeks that go by that I don't sell anything. So that's the real life of a reseller. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I sold billions of dollars worth of things because I'm part-time and I work also. So doing the best I can here and I'm doing pretty well. Okay, this haul is from yesterday. I went to two different Goodwills. I was looking for a coffee table, which I did not find. Um, this one I have here is just too big, and Holly's having trouble navigating around it with the new couch. And it's kind of beat up anyway. I got it at a Goodwill, and I thought maybe I might refinish it, but I just don't have time. So, anyway... I found other things while I was there. Uh, this record album sold for $4.29. Mamas and the Papas. And it was in good condition. There were a lot of nice records there, but they were scratched up, so I didn't get them. This one is pretty good. And I will play it to make sure it still plays well. That's one of the fun parts of selling records. You get to play them and test them. You don't have to, but... It's good if you do. That way you could um, sell it with a little more confidence. Oh, and it's broken. Yeah, it's split open there. Maybe I can glue that back together. Anyway, that was a good find. And what else do we want to do here? I hope nothing is broken because it's been laying over there and I've been moving stuff around and it's been... I've been hearing some things clink together. I've never sold this before, and I'll probably have to sell it on Poshmark. It's a Pioneer Woman cream pitcher. And I've heard Pioneer Woman sells really well, so I decided to give it a try. I like trying new things. And uh, it was $3.49. Now, I did have a 20% off coupon, which they mail to me each month, and you can use it as many times as you want to. You might want to look into that and see if your Goodwill does that. I know they're all different. They all have different policies. It was a $2 day yesterday, but I didn't really find anything for $2. That's not true. I found a pair of shorts for work. Okay, this was $3.49, and it's a little trinket box with bears on it. And it's got a little heart inside there. These sell pretty well for me. So I went ahead and got that. It's easy to list, easy to ship. And I don't think it has a brand on the bottom. It probably had a sticker at one time. Yeah, it just says uh, made in China. So it's not that old. But I thought it was cute. This lady wrapped things in multiple pieces of paper. 
she was very nice. But that was a lot of paper. I didn't want to say anything because I was so grateful she was wrapping it. Because most of the time they don't even do that. Okay, this was $3.49. It is a, a Fitz and Floyd dish. These can sell for quite a bit of money. I didn't look it up. I just went pretty much on instinct with this stuff. I was in a hurry. Um, it does have a retail sticker for $35 on the back. So I'll have to look this up and see how it does. I did list that um, Fitz and Floyd pumpkin. I think I showed you in a previous haul plate with the chipmunk on it. And it's getting a lot of views. So hopefully that does well. Uh, I hope this isn't broken. No, it still looks okay. I wasn't sure about this. It was $3.49. It says hand painted, uh, distinct, oh, hand painted, definitely left in. And it's got 2000 on it. And it does have a left in sticker. It was $3.49. And it's just a little sugar bowl. It doesn't have the spoon, but I think that'll be okay. It's very pretty. It's got a lighthouse on it. So I'll give that one a try. I'm really into buying smaller things lately. I don't want to store it or ship it. I'm in a small apartment right now, so I have to be careful what I buy. This I bought for me. <laughs> it's just a toothpick holder. I needed something to keep by the stove. Oh, when I'm baking and I need a toothpick to test my thing to see if it's done. It was just 99 cents. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, these are the pants I bought for $2. <laughs> I know they're a weird color, but hey. They are um, Gloria Vanderbilt, just capri pants. And they got cute little buttons on the side there for $2. Good work shorts. And it's getting hot in the back where I work, so I can't wear jeans yet. Okay, we got some books. I'm trying not to buy a whole lot because I have so much to uh, process already. Charlotte's Web, I couldn't pass this up. It was $2.29. I love this book. and I love selling this book. Uh, this one is from, well, it says copyright 1952. Uh, it usually has a reprint date on it, but I don't see anything, so maybe it is. I don't know. But it's in pretty good condition. It's a hardcover. I thought it was nice. It's always a good seller. I found a package of golden books. I like selling those too. It was $4.29 for the package. I see you there, Holly. Don't you start barking. Uh, there were a lot of Sesame Street. Uh, Grover takes care of baby. And they were packaged together, so I really couldn't tell what condition they were in, but they look good. I don't really see any crayon marks or anything in them, in this one anyway. <clears throat> Big Bird brings spring to Sesame Street. Excuse me. And this one looks pretty good too. Ah, oh, there's Maria in the count. Maria shoveling snow. Uh, Big Bird's Red Book. Oh, wait. I see the next one. <laughs> My kids were big into Sesame Street, so 
It warms my heart. I should probably tell you what year they're from, huh? 1977 for this one. They're probably all around the same time. Uh, wow. Oh, here it is. 1985 for that one. Nineteen eighty-seven. Sorry, gosh, this microphone. <sighs> okay, the day Snuffy had the sniffles. This is the one that made me chuckle. <laughs> I love Snuffleupagus. And this one was from nineteen eighty-eight, the year my son was born. It's a cookie monster cookies. It's got all the characters in it. Oh, there he is in bed with Big Bird. I really have a soft place in my heart for golden books. Uh, the Bunny Hop. Maybe this is an Easter book. Oh, it says from Dalen, love you, Grandma and Grandpa. This is 1997. Oh, there's a Grover. I love Grover. I used to do all the Sesame Street voices when I read these to my kids. And I was pretty good at it, too. I don't know if I can do it now. <laughs> okay. They had some Christmas out. This was in the box. It says, Motion Ornament. It really moves. Works with Mitch miniature light sets. So I got that. It's a little motion ornament. And it was four forty nine. Trying to see if there's a year on it. I like buying things with the box. That way, you know you can get more information on it. This guy was fun. I've seen him there for a while, and I finally decided to rescue him. He is a dashboard hula guy. Isn't that neat? $1.49. Lovely Hawaiian dashboard hula doll. <laughs> I've seen the girls, but not the guys very often. I mean, I don't think I've seen a guy before this one. I feel that something is just a manufacturer defect, I think. It's just a bubble. Uh, this is an open sugar bowl by McCoy. Drip glaze. Very pretty. Probably had a lid at one time, but I would just sell it as an open sugar bowl. Very nice. I love finding McCoy. This is... A potpourri nutcracker in the box. And it has a suspicious sound. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's see if he made it home all right. Oh, he looks okay. There he is. And uh, he's older, you can tell. Oh, it's got potpourri in it. Doesn't smell anymore. <laughs> and he's got a little candle in there. Well, that's cool. But he made it home okay, buddy. He made it home all right. Yesterday was a day, so <laughs> I'm surprised anything made it home all right. What else did we get? We have some baggies. We'll save those for last. Uh, this was a candy dish. Celebrate the season. I was finding a lot of stuff in boxes. Did I say how much this one was? This one was $3.49, the potpourri guy. 
This was $2.49. It's a candy dish with Santa. And he still looked pretty good. You have to open these boxes and look because they'll just stick broken stuff in there. They don't care. That's pretty cute. You can put your candies in there on your desk at work or at home. But make your desk look a little festive. And be nice and pass out candy at the same time. I always used to have candy on my desk when I had a desk. Okay, this is a latch hook kit. It's got an owl on it. Thought that was pretty cool. And it looks like it has everything in it. It even has a hook. Let's see. That's all the stuff. That's the, the, the rug thing and the hook. I used to love to do these when I was a teenager. I remember doing pillows and putting them on my bed. Stuff like that. But those are long gone. So this is by Dimensions. It was $2.49. That should be a good seller. What are you doing down there, girl? Oh, okay. Got a bunch of baggies here. Let's do... Oh, I hope it made it. Uh, I got another one of these. I like selling these. They are little candy holders. Um, got this one for $2.49. Looks like it made it home all right. I don't see anything broken. All right. Let's see. Let's go to the plush now. I'll go ahead and show you this girl. She needs some cleaning up. And I don't know if she's going to make it or not, but I'm going to try. Her hair is a mess, and she's got marks all over her face, but it's rainbow bright. Look how they put the price tag on her forehead. Those meanies. But she's got some marker on her, and she's got all kinds of stuff. And her clothes do not come off, so I don't know how... Well, the dress, does the dress come off? Yeah, the dress comes off, but I don't know. I'll see what I can do about her. I'm concerned about the hair. <laughs> but I'm going to try to bring her back to life. She was $249. I just had to grab her. Okay, now we're going to go to the plush that I got. I got these little baggies. This one was $349. Ah. Oh. I must have saw something good in here. Oh, it was the Taco Bell dog. I love Taco Bell dogs. Look at this little guy. Aww. Isn't he cute? Does he talk? Does he talk? He works. Yay. My favorite one I ever had was the one with the heart, and he would go, Row. You put him up to your ear. I love that one. I don't know if I still have that or not. Anyway, got a little Santa bear. Things like this I would lot up with other things or I might just redonate. Uh, what are you? That is the smallest writing I have ever seen in my life. I can't tell what he is. But anyway, little unicorn guy with little twinkly eyes. All right. Oh, we got a smiley guy. Got him. He's good. He's been hurt. He's got a head injury. Poor little guy. And it's got the same kind of tag on it. wonder if people got these out of like a claw machine or something. Poor guy. Here's a panda. Aw, oh, he's cute. Look at that. He's got something weird on him though. I don't know. Maybe I can clean him up. 
and line them up with something else. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I didn't see this guy in here. It's Woodstock. He is very beat up and missing an eye. How can you be missing an eye when it's, oh, it's not sold on, it's glued on. But there he is, he's winking at you. <laughs> Poor Woodstock. <sighs> Poor little guy. Maybe I could give him another eye with a piece of felt or something. Poor guy. Give him a little more life. I feel like I have to fix up and repair all the all the vintage plush. Okay, last bag and last item. I usually buy these if I see something good in there. And I see what I saw. This little Care Bear. I don't know how old he is, but I will check. It's the Rainbow, Rainbow Bear. And he does have the Care Bear thing on him. So he looks pretty, he doesn't look that old. It's very soft and clean. Very nice. Oh, what are you? Some kind of a little, I don't know what those are called. Probably in the pelican family. Pelican, not pelican, penguin. <laughs> I get pelican from. Okay, we got a little. Is that a cat? I don't know. You tell me. Do you think that's a cat? It's kind of got pointy ears and it's got that kind of a tail. Got a goofy look on his face. Looks like he just ate a mouse. All right. This video is getting long. We got to wind it up. Got a unicorn. I got a little sloth, and I just bought that for the Care Bear. There's his brother, and there is a little handmade owl, and a little pink cat, all for $3.49. Okay, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to come up and show you what's sold in my little Goodwill haul. I hope you have a great day today. Find all the treasures you're looking for. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please like, comment down below, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.